Hello. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> I am Thomas Anson. <coughs> Welcome to Shabra. Thank you for joining me in my quest to create Arcadia, a perfect landscape of Shabra, where nature is in harmony with us and we live in perfect harmony with the natural world. <coughs> Such simple simplicity requires a lot of effort from me, and money also. And to this end, I have assembled a pantheon of crafts, craftsmen to bring Arcadia into being. First is my designer-in-chief, Master Archibald Kett. Hello. Uh, thank you very much. Mr. Anson. Hello, yes, I am Archibald Tett. I am an architect. And uh, today, we will all be taking a, uh, a stroll through the lovely grounds of the estate to look at some, uh, some, some locations that we believe would be perfect for a little project we've been working on. That's myself and <coughs> Mr. Plum, the builder over here. Lovely. <laughs> Yes, thank you. <laughs> so I hope you'll, you'll join us as we, as we take a little stroll. What did he just say? I'm not sure important to say. Far more important than what these lot are on about. My cottages. They're about moving my cottages to put up. Who knows what? Oh, I've lived in these cottages for, for many, many generations. I lost two wives in this cottage. Don't know where I put them. They've wandered off somewhere. It's beautiful. Beautiful. It might smell of sewage, and I might have got cholera because of it, but it's my cottage. might not be perfect, but it's <coughs> mine. Arthur, I've got something to say about that. Oh, I've got something to say. I know he knocked down our cottages, Arthur, but he did give us those lovely new ones, just to help us down the road. Exactly, yes. And they had doors and everything. Which <laughs> I know. I, I know you think it is. I know. And windows. Oh, windows. Witchcraft as well. Mm -hmm. And there was even an upstairs. An upstairs. <laughs> an upstairs. <laughs> an upstairs. <laughs> I always thought great. that if God had wanted us to be taller, he'd have made us be like longer legs. But now I know there's upstairs. upstairs. <laughs> We don't have to sleep with the sheep anymore, do we, Rosie? No, but I love sheep, and Mr. Anson's just got us a load more sheep, so I'm happy. Very happy. Have <laughs> you got any sheep sending my way? Now, as you know, my brother George Anson is currently away on a voyage, sailing the high seas, doing great work for the British government. I have had news that George is sailing home for Christmas. Hooray! And will arrive tonight! Hooray! I wish in the spirit of Arcadia to make his welcome home perfect. To this end, Master Tet, I believe you have a surprise for him. Yes, yes indeed we do. Master Plum, would you reveal the pagoda? <laughs> This, of course, we must find a spot for it. Yes, let us go and find the perfect place for it, Shall Mister. We? Shall we? Shall we? Yes. I think so. Just one second before we go anywhere. We just need you to remember a few things. Phantom poles have two ends. So watch both ends as you walk in without you lose any eyes or any fleshy bits. If they do set on fire, just abandon them at the side, out of the way of the path, and we will sort them out, put them out. Watch out as we're going out, because there might be some low-hanging trees, and there might be some holes and some dips and some puddles. Just be careful as you walk, and hopefully we'll find somewhere put... What is it again? 
It's a pagoda. A poo what? A potato. A pagoda. A Chinese pagoda. I, I can't come to that. Which I'm not interested. Pagoda. A potato. A potato. We're going to follow you then, aren't we? Yeah, sure. Oh. Oh, let's get that. Oh.